Good morning out there. So we are here in Lisa's kitchen. Yay. All right. So um, I'm here actually trying to um, mess around with this jackfruit this morning. Now, I have seen this for years in uh, grocery stores. And because of its appearance, it is something that I was never interested in trying. However, I've been seeing different recipes on working with... Um, working with um, I guess like a pulled pork recipe um, however I cannot do the pulled pork recipe right now because of the sugars and the processed uh, seasonings that go into making the pulled pork so um, I'm just going to experiment here today and so right now like I said I have the I have the jackfruit okay and then i have some uh coconut oil oil coconut oil that i got from kroger just some basic coconut oil and i have a regular uh this is a uh spanish onion okay or is it a vidalia anyway it's a white onion and then i have a coleslaw coleslaw uh, mix Okay, with no additives. And then I have some um, flatbread that I got from Audi. And just some basic uh, sea salt. Okay, sea salt. And some black pepper. Okay, so getting back to this jackfruit. Um, I am going through this process right now, just trying to figure out how to extract... Um, the meaty part so to speak uh from the jackfruit so as i pull it apart you come up with these nice little um sections and then you have to pull the uh the straw part off it's like a stringy straw not straw but um shreddy kind of a shreddy part okay so as you pull this apart you'll get a nice little chunk like this okay inside of that are the seeds so i've just been putting the seeds over here okay and just trying to keep my um, area organized okay so once you open up uh the little meaty part if you see here's the seed here and you just kind of pull that out and I just put the seeds right here in my little seed bowl and just try to clean this up. Okay, so going back to the big jackfruit and trying to pull apart. See how it comes? It's easy once you get in there. You can pull it apart quite easy. And hope you can see that color good. So in there through the shredded forest are these nice little yellow uh, pieces. And that is the part that we want to pull out. Okay, so I'm trying to get back to the bases of the entire uh, jackfruit. So, all right. Okay, so that's like the middle core part. Uh, that's coming out so i'm going to just kind of toss that right there i'll empty that out in a second um, but there's a little more core that i need to uh pull apart yep so trying to show you okay so if you kind of look in here and just pull all these apart there's the nice little meaty yellow part in the center Okay, see that nice and yellowy looking part, and you just kind of see if I can pull it out without pausing the video this time. Oh, there we go. All right, so once again, the little shredded pieces on the outside. Oh, that is nice, nice and beautiful. Look at there. Yep. Just kind of pull that. Mm 
Yep, all that comes off nice and easy. Yep, and there it is. Okay, so once again, now I have to get in the center so you can see where the seed comes from. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so on the inside, if you just kind of, there we go, there's a seed. Yep, and it comes out of this. All right, so again, I'll put the meaty part here and the seed there. Don't know again what I'm going to do with the seed, but we're going to save them just in case. Oh, those look beautiful, look so beautiful, and they're really good. Um, I think it's a cross between like a mango. It has that, um, but it's a little thicker than a mango. Um, but the taste is like a mango, maybe a pineapple. Um, but it really does have like a meaty uh, texture to it. Okay, so I am getting to the end of the jackfruit. I have just about... I uh, peeled all of the jackfruit out. It is taking quite some time. And I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. So I just still have to peel this. Take that off. And bring out this nice yellowy piece. That's again going to look like this stuff here. Nice and yellow. Here's my little snack piece right there. I've been eating on this, keeping that separate. Okay, so finally I am down. The jackfruit is gone. I just have to pull the seeds out of these few little pieces. It is a task. So this was about a um, quarter uh, piece of a jackfruit. And as you can see, you get a quite a large amount of, um, you know, jackfruit to work with. Um, so that was a nice size. So I can imagine if you actually had an entire uh, jackfruit, it would be quite a bit. Okay, so um, this is trash. This right here is trash. That's just the parts of the jackfruit that we are not going to use so i'm going to toss that but just wanted you to see the difference between the little shredded pieces and what we are going to cook or eat yum all right so i have pulled out some more things I love garlic cloves. I love garlic. Yum, yum, yum. So I put out some garlic cloves. I'm going to chop those up. And I thought a bell pepper would be good to um, use um, inside of our little mix. Um, again, I am experimenting. So I will say, and this is a onion. I believe this is a white onion. I struggled with uh, naming it earlier, but it is a white onion. If I am wrong, I guess I'll find out. But, yep, white onion. Okay, so here we are in our preparation. We have our jackfruits, and we have some green bell peppers, and we have some white onions, and we have some fresh garlic cloves, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this uh, olive oil um, instead of the coconut oil. Okay, we're going to use a little olive oil, put a little bit. Okay, so in the olive oil, I have put the green peppers, and now I am putting in the onions. Okay. And now in the garlic cloves, I'm just going to stir this all together. Okay, so I'm just kind of just stirring the uh, green peppers or bell peppers, white onions, garlic cloves into the um, uh, extra virgin olive oil. 
Oh, I love the way it smells. It smells so good. Okay, I've just put in some uh, sea salt and um, ground black pepper. So now I'm going to kind of stir that. I really need to invest in some better uh, pots and pans, some cookware. But this will do for now. Sometimes the best dishes are made with the old ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to add some of the jackfruit. Uh oh. Let's turn that down a little bit. So I'm going to add uh, some of the jackfruit. Look at there. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to add some more. Let's pick up a handful. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to that in. Okay, so I am basically just trying to get a good stir uh, to uh, coat everything nice with, uh, you know, with the olive oil and the salt and pepper and get a good mix uh, on the, the vegetables with the peppers, the onions, and the garlic cloves. Okay. So right now I'm just going to kind of put the top over it and let it simmer for a little while and I'll be back. Okay, so one other thing I forgot was the apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm going to just pour a very, 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 very small amount um, in here and kind of measured it out. So just a little bit. a little bit don't need a lot and um I'm gonna stir that the smell is really great so we shall see okay 